Yo, what up? It's Eclipse from Team Ruthless, and here's another Damon X Machino video for you guys. Um, this is gonna be about some tips and tricks for, for PvP dropping. Um, most of these tips and tricks I'm giving you guys is my experience from Armored Core V. I know it's a different game, but I'm, I'm pretty sure some of the things um, I learned there can help us in this game. So, one of my first tips is don't stay in the open. Um, especially... I learned this in a lot in Armor Core, especially in Armor Core since you had to um, hug buildings in order to like kick off of them to get speed. But uh, hug buildings, bro, and try to weave in and out of buildings like while shooting and um, and target. in and out tactics really work very well in robot games in all kinds of games. So hug buildings, um, make sure they're not buildings that can collapse on you. If a building collapses on you, it does take a lot of damage. But if you see your opponent hugging a building that can collapse take that building down make him make him pay for that make him <laughs> punish him for that it's gonna take a lot of damage from him and it's, it does a really good stun it stuns him for a long time so yeah hug buildings weaving it out it'll help you dodge missiles to help you dodge melee attacks if you hug buildings um just don't <laughs> trip yourself up guys don't <laughs> don't fly into bullets i do that all the time um but yeah, so another thing too, especially in 2v2s, stay close to your teammate. Um, don't stay too close, so where so close enough to where uh, splash damage will affect them. Like if one of you guys get hit with a, a, a rocket launcher, you don't want the splash damage reaching your teammate, or you don't want anybody uh, being able to chain melee attacks off of you guys because they'll just literally bounce back and forth between you guys, and you guys will not be able to do anything about it. Um, stay to a close close enough where you can help out and get in the fight quick but far enough where you guys aren't getting splash damage and not getting chained or um, missiles aren't flying into both of you um, and this this it's really gonna depend on how map on, on the map on how well you can do this and what kind of builds you have but try to pay close attention to your teammate at all times um, that and communicate like make sure you communicate with your team um this game's pretty nice and letting you know when somebody drop, runs out of stamina and stuff i don't know if it's gonna work like that in pvp but it does in the pve against other arsenals if somebody's out of stamina or something call that out let your teammate know so you guys can focus on fire when someone's out of stamina they literally are kind of i won't say they're helpless but you can do a lot of damage especially when they're out of the area or something like this and they're stuck or falling or something like call that out call call anything out call locations out let your teammate know when you need help let, let your teammate know when you're getting mm, heavy fire or whatever call this stuff out maybe they can help especially with the like and i don't know how good are these gonna um work in pvp but things like the support that heals the support items that can heal you the shorter weapons that heal you and um get damage off of you definitely call that stuff out if you need heals ask for heals i don't know how effective heals will be i don't think they'll be that effective but if 2v2s i, I recommend trying it especially if you have a partner who's down to try some stuff with you definitely try that stuff that's a, another thing too experiment experiment with your builds um play around see what works for you and if you find yourself losing to either a particular opponent or a particular weapon or build uh switch stuff up or even copy it don't be afraid to copy somebody's build <laughs> like um i don't do that but don't be afraid to like i mean i will if i have to but i like to try to find ways around, um, around it while still being able to have like a build uh, i like playing with but don't be afraid to copy someone's build copy my build whatever you do um yeah builds matter i'm not gonna sit in line and say like weapons don't matter and you know mods and stuff is not gonna make a difference they are going to make a difference, but your skill is going to make a difference, too. It's going to make a bigger difference, too. Um, I can have... I could be as fast as I want, but if I can't shoot you or control my aim while I'm speeding past you, it doesn't really matter. Um, but, yeah. Also, play to your weapon's advantage. If you are using close-range weapons, stay close-range. Or try to find that range where you do the most damage. As you can... If you guys did not know weapons have an effective range or I forget what it's called 
but a certain range. And if you see it, that uh, 136, that is the number of the range. Every weapon will tell you what the range is. So you do more um, damage with your win when you're within that range. Like, let's see. So that's 9s or 10s when I'm like 130 away. No, it's about the same. I don't know this weapon range. So, so I do way less damage when I'm further away. So I want to be closer. So yeah, play to your weapon's uh, strengths and weaknesses. Like, pay attention to what you do. If you got to be close, get in their face. And pay attention to your opponent's strength and weaknesses too. If he's running around with machine guns, you might not want to be in his face. If he's running around with uh, a sword or something, you're definitely not going to want to be in his face. Um, uh, it's up to you if you want to try to play, make a build that kind of covers everything. But remember, when you try to cover everything, you're kind of good at everything, but you're great at nothing. So it depends on what you do. I think a lot of people are probably going to focus on one type of, of play style. They're either going to go straight melee or straight range. But we'll see um, what works. I think cer definitely think certain weapons are going to be better than others. And just because it's great in PvE does not mean it will be good in PvP. Especially the lasers. I don't think the lasers are going to be really good. Um... But those are just personal opinions. Um, also, don't be afraid to run. If you're getting wrecked, get out of there, dude. Like, don't don't sit there and take all the hits. If you can get out, get out. Like, let your teammate take some of the force, take some of the hits if he can. Um, get out of there. Like, don't sit there and try to take hits. Or your team, you're better to your teammate alive than you are dead. So if you can get back and just do. Uh, little hits here and there is better than freaking dying right away. So don't be afraid to get out of there. Like uh, I learned that a lot. A lot of people like to go in here charge and like don't want to run away to leave their teammate in here. Sometimes you didn't. You just need to bounce. <laughs> Being dead is still leaving your teammate in here. Get out of there. Don't be afraid to run. Um. Also, experiment. Experiment. In the Did I say that already? But yeah. Try different things. I said that already, actually. Try different things. Play play around with your build. Um, play around with different kinds of weapons that you probably don't see people use too much. Um, but yeah, I already said that. Also, shifts. I don't use these enough. I kind of forget about them. But they do make a big difference in terms of damage, speed, and defense. Like, look. Watch. Let's see how fast I take this down with and without shift. I have it activated. Bam, look at those numbers. I'm gonna take it off. Wait, that was a different kind of enemy? Oh, hold on, they're a different kind of enemy. Hold up, hold up, let me show you guys. Alright, so they're both. They're both sentinels. Both same enemy. So watch. 15s, 16s, 14s. We're gonna cut it off. What the fuck is the same shit? This weapon's OP. 19, 19. 30s. 30s! Especially if it's effective, bro. Um, actually, it might be, might be the range. <laughs> might be the range around, I'm at. I'm tripping. Oh, shit, blink. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. Alright, whatever. I'm going to stand in the middle. And I'm going to show you guys the difference. Eight and nines. And it was weak against that. And I did more damage in this blitz. In blitz form. Anyway, it does a big difference. <laughs> Also, look at mobility too. I'm way faster when I pop that. Now this, way faster. Don't forget to use your ships. I don't use my ships as much, but don't forget to use your ships. Also, Mirage. If you're getting jumped, this might save your life. Even even if you use it as a decoy, like just pop it, move back. Maybe they'll think that's you. <laughs> Don't be afraid to pop Mirage. It's probably going to be a really good escape tactic. Tactic. Um, use it to get out of there, especially if he has if he has a lot of homing uh, attacks or missiles. 
Um, it'll probably help you way more than you think. I don't know how much damage that thing actually does. I wish they kind of showed you the numbers. But I think these are just as strong as you. But yeah, Mirage. Mirage is probably going to be annoying as fuck, actually. Definitely use Mirage. <laughs> Especially if you don't have a Femto build. Like lasers and all that. Pop Mirage, bro. You just don't waste your Femto, man. Use it. Use it because you're just going to lose out if you don't. Either use it in your ships or use Mirage. Mirage is pretty beast. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. Um, also, one thing about builds. Yo, mess with the auxiliary. Mess, mess with these auxiliary weapons. I think they're really going to um, help in PvP. You have the ammo. I think ammo is going to be important. The trip mines. Yo, trap mines are pretty good. Um, at least for me. I think they're going to help in against... I think they'll be good both as defense, defensive weapons with melee builds, uh, against melee builds, and offensive weapons using a melee build. Um, they do a lot of damage. They do a lot of knockback. They're pretty cool. Um, flame grenades. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the grenades. But yeah, flash grenades might be okay, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, the shaft flares to get missiles off you, those should pretty do good. Herms, especially for bulky builds, dude. Use this to catch up. Um, I think this will be better on bulkier, slower builds that don't have any speed than it will be for lighter builds that are super fast. But I think this, don't be afraid to try this out, man. Uh, propellant tank, if you're using lasers, femto weapons, and you don't have a, a propellant tank, I don't know what you're doing. You should definitely have one of these. If you have more than, in my opinion, you have two or more um, femto weapons, you should probably have a propellant tank. Down booster, I'm still playing with this. I don't know how I feel about this yet. It's kind of cool sometimes. I kind of use it like I do in Gun Reverses where you can drop down really quick. But the landing time is kind of slow, so I don't know how I feel about that yet. Uh, cooling system, this will be really good for melee builds and people who are really fast and want to boost everywhere. Radar jammer. Um, I don't know how I feel about this yet because I don't know the range. It might be really good. I don't know. I'm still... I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to use this in PvP, but I don't know how effective it is or how effective it's going to be in PvP. But this might this might be a game changer. Don't sleep on that. But, uh, yeah. Definitely check out the auxiliary stuff. Check out this. I, again, I don't know if, like, the the shoulder support weapons are going to be that great with the heels and whatnot. Um, but definitely give those a shout out. Um, Blitz might be okay. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Blitz because they seem weak, but they do seem annoying, like easy, easy damage. Um, but yeah, definitely try out with stuff. I'm not going to show y'all everything because because I'm trying to get these dubs. So I'm not going to show y'all everything. I'm trying to get these dubs too. But so y'all going to have to figure some of this stuff out. <laughs> but yeah, pay attention to your pay attention to your stats, man. Know what your mobility, your ammunition, Look, play, play to your strengths, man. Just keep playing to your strengths. Okay, but that's really much pretty much it for uh, my PvP tips. Um, I don't know if I forgot anything, but yeah, lay down in the comments what you guys think we need to do for PvP or what you need to do for PvP. If you don't want to give up your secrets, I understand. Um, but yeah, um, 2v2s, got to remember to play as a team. 1v1 should be really fun. And use 1v1s to experiment with your builds, man. If, if I think 2v2... Personally, team-based games are way more fun to watch and way more competitive. But 1v1s, definitely use that to touch your build and do dope. Show me some stuff, man. Play around. I'm really interested in seeing like a sniper build. Um, I have one. I haven't really messed with it too much, but I'm really interested in trying to make a sniper build work. My only problem with sniper builds is the ammo. But I'm really interested to see that. But yeah. Um, PvP is two days away, guys. Let's freaking... I'm ready to play, dude. <laughs> I'm ready to play. I'm ready to fight some people, man. Um, I'm thinking about a, trying to do a tournament or something. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet because tournaments take a lot of time. I don't even know what format I do. I don't know if I do 1v1s or 2v2s. I don't know if it would be like a ladder system. Probably would have to be a ladder system because I'm not trying to be there all day. I don't know, yet, but I'm thinking about it. But guys, um, more importantly, guys, like let's P 
PvP is probably going to be what keeps this game alive in a, in a year, in the next couple of years. So let's try to and let's just just uh, if you really love this game, man, just play as much as you can. <laughs> Play as much as you can, and uh, hopefully this game lasts for a while, man. They they got some free updates and and coming um, toward uh, for the rest of the year, but yeah, um, let's try to keep this game alive. Let's try to throw it, grow it. Um, I think this game could really thrive off the PvP. PvP. Um, Hammer Core games really don't get too much love, so let's try to give this game as, as much love as we can. Um, I sound like a developer or something, like I'm making money off this. Um, but yeah, man, I'm really excited and uh, excited to grow, uh, watch the community grow and get in there and PvP with you guys, man. It's going to be fun. All right, but yeah, I'm out. Thank you guys for the love, the comments, um, and all that. I've been having, oh, sorry, I'm a little distracted. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for the love, the comments. Uh, these are the most comments I've ever had on my YouTube. I'm enjoying it. Please keep sharing your builds and your strategies and all this stuff with me so I can kill y'all. Ah! But yeah, um, I love seeing that. And I know it's helping a lot of people who who don't really understand the game. It's a lot. It's a lot more. It, this To me, this is easier than Armor Core, but there's still a lot um, of things in here they don't really tell you about that you got to figure out. Which is always cool about these mech games, and it gives you a reason to, to test and try new mechs and whatnot. But yeah, so um, thanks guys for watching, and peace.